Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya, it's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. It's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. I won't need to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's... a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue the Thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Yeah, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say 9 to, to pick it up. I'll be in pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay, we'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Aw, oh, what a nice little conversation they had. I couldn't come around to bite them later. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Huh. <laughs> you were not cognivorous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. My dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. Yep. Could not have come around to bite them later. Oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Chief must have gone home already. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Oh no, mechanics. Gameplay? That smell? Blood. Sis. Someone's there. In the darkness. Chief? Chief? Chief! It's okay. This isn't the Virtuous Mission. Who are you? Well, oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, I apologize. I didn't know I was so ugly you would faint. Jeez. The strange girl dropped out cold. I left her lying on the sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Like she was dead, or something. Chief. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again.
Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be in the remains of a glass light stand. Chief, it's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker, lying next door must have been the murder weapon. Hmm. There's some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Hmm. Piece of paper. Must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? The word is written in blood on this scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from the department store. They did yesterday. I think that's enough snooping around for now. Better call the police. And find out what that girl was doing here. Eh. I'm sure she's fine. No need to know. Right. Better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on their receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Police, come quick! What was that? Someone screaming from the outside window. Hello. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Well, she called the police for you. Congratulations, Phoenix. Our suggestion knows no bounds. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh-oh. Hope oh, she didn't run on me. Don't scare me like that. I'm like a four-year-old when it comes to that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya? Maya Faye? Maya Faye? Maya. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? Never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. But that's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. You're hysterical. Why would this write my name? Oh, I've done it. Ah, cheese it. The police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze! Police! Good old Dick Gumshoe. Alright, I'm Dick Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe. What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see. Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya? Wait, she wouldn't move. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. This word my here mean anything to you? That... that's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? Her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name. Killer? I'm not... Face closed, you're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? I hate how this becomes a... thing in all of the games. But, whatever. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. Because Lord knows I forgot to talk to her at the office. Oops. Wow, we have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Uh-oh. It's you, the lawyer. 
Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? That, uh, didn't I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what, what's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No. No one could. Who would believe me? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. No, I didn't. It was your top knot. That's the thing that did it. I look at her like that. No, no, I never thought. It's okay. I understand. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I swear, that party, nothing happened. I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It's quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Eh, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Hm, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Well. If I could punch me as ghost, I would do it. That's what she said. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to trouble you. Oh, it's okay. It's true, I guess. My ego's been shot. But, at the same time, I can't just sit and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... I know. Let's wrap. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? No, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. The acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A spirit medium. Pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence. Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Hmm, right, she said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Oh. Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. I recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. So, you say you have a conf yeah, conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Now it's just awkward. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. Whatever. Thanks for the memo! So you're an acolyte. A uh, medium in training. That's right. The Fey family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second. You said the Fey family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to be to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Hm. Wait. What? So you're a real honest to goodness smeared medium. ESP and all that? Yes? In training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. Why didn't they just use the eagles to bring the ring to Mordor? I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I'm pretty sure the eagles weren't still in training. They just didn't want to do it because they were afraid they were going to get killed. 
Eh, whatever. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm. I thought it would be too easy. Um. Ah. Uh, something gonna matter. Um, I was wondering. Could I ask you a favor? This is the address of the famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. You think you could, eh, could go ask him to represent me? Eh, why not? Since you're all like, no, I don't want you to do it. Sure, why not? Eh, thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. You have me. Say, what about your parents? God dang it, just got awkward again. I... I see. Don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? What if this guy refuses? He told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. Better hurry. Well, oh. the legal system is just a bunch of dicks. Right, I'll be back. Nope, day of crime. <laughs> Again. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of forgotten used to it. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for the afternoon trial. Oh, practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. Lights were off, and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Alright. Let's get out of here. According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. Big boss. She couldn't say when he'd been back. Must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Nope. We're examining stuff first. Like this big painting. Cause it's interesting. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil, the, the oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Yep, that's all. Well, let's go to Fanko. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry, I don't know. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No. No, Phoenix Wright. How can anyone mistake me for Larry? Well, you kind of do smell like butts there, Mr. Wright. Well, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer. You're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Sweet Shoes. Um, Gumshoe, wasn't it? Nick Gumshoe. Right, at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. And don't call calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sir. With me right there. Um, you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better go do it quick. Thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Yay. Let's talk to him. This big old lovable lug. About Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You know, you want to know the results, eh? Now don't you uh, look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report. That's all. Why don't I get any special treatment? My name's on the front of the game. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. So 
sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you see that? So he split Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Let's talk about Edgeworth, this mysterious new character. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Well, I do. I don't know if y'all don't know who he is, so... Whatever. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal. About four years ago, this Edgeworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of a back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Let's give him my memo. I was wondering, did you see my face cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on to me. Hmm. Tell him not so straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy. But what should I tell him? Something the matter. Oh no, um that carrying strap on the cell phone. This? Mm. It says the Steel Samurai, warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. Steel Samurai. An action hero on TV. Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. I have what she said. Um, yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems you didn't notice the recorded conversation. I'm sorry, Gumshoe. I'm sorry I had to lie to you. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yeah. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I'd completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April, May, June, July. I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? So you've seen her, sent her home already, then. Ah, you're trying to hear lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So, she's still in her hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, though. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. And we could do that, or we could go back to the detention center. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry. I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm. I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? My eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Alright. Got any more talkings? Yep. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So, she could still be alive. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years le after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. 
So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Now, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her, all by herself up on that mountain. So, it was this man who, um, ruined your mother. About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so, what happened? The case was solved, we thought. We thought. The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But, a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White. Hmm. Strange name. Not as cool as Phoenix Wright. Nope, nothing else here. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? You did. The detective told me. He said, "Don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal." Tee hee. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job hard. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Oh, well, we're not cross-examining her. We can examine this little screwdriver thing. There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey. Hey! What are you doing? No touching. Oh, bad boy. You, you really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Oh, we can't examine it now. God dang it right, you need to be faster. You think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Sir, the incident, you sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. One would say, a rather large lexicon. Um, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occur ha happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pray please. Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. Um, could you just, who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? No, hey, I'm just doing my job here. Gee, you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, eh. Right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. You had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh no, not me. I'm uh, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective. Why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Mm hmm? This maid doesn't like nosy little lawyers. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you are absolutely useless. And you don't care about any of the stuff I have. Oh god, I forget what I have to do. Oh well, balls. Hmm. 
what's inside, I wonder. Maybe later. Yeah. Let's go back and check on Grossberg. Yes. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> if that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Ah, so, you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. Even lo he looks even... grander than I imagined. Is that a fat joke? Really, right? Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, well, yes. What do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy. Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something can matter. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir. Actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Yeah. Ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on. Hmm, why the strange reaction? Ah, cha cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Yeah. Anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. So, what's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? No, oh, well, we talk to him. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm? Yeah. Well, you see, it's just... I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia's Faye's sister. Hmm. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Creep. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anymore. I'll go look elsewhere. I think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Ow. Nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here, but I have more to discuss with you. Sir, how do you know Mia Faye? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day, and quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission. You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Ah, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, and the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. Speak for yourself, right? I was. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Well, you, sir, are a jerk. There's a bug in my face. Ow, oh, I didn't want to go there. Balls. Oh. Looks like Detective Gumshoe has gone home. The police are still keeping themselves busy in the chief's office. No one has time to talk to me. Guess I'll head out. Wanted to go to the detention center. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what'd I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I... I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones, even though he's much grander than you had thought. What really happened? You don't mean you refused to help. I see. I've been abandoned, then. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up.
What should I do? Do we just leave her and go home? No, we defend Maya. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Why? Why? Well... Can't abandon you. No one is as sad as a person without any friends. I know. I've been there. A long time ago. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Well, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes. I trust you. So you trust me too, okay. It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. No, oh, I can't talk to her anymore. It's been a long time since I've played this. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment, and your service, sir. Oh, right. I'll just come up to the delivery room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait, no, hey. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, that was my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. You came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Alright, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name, my sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Nah. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. That's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap. Hmm. What a woman what would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? There's definitely something suspicious about it's Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all this. I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For my sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean... Nah, uh, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. Still there? Uh oh Time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. With your bottom.